As the government continues to face some fallout over the controversy surrounding Expo 2020 in Dubai, Director of Communications in the Office of the Prime Minister, Latre Ramming, confirming that the Davis administration did not pay Shabak, a choir led by OPM Press Secretary Clint Watson, to participate in the Bahamas National Day at Expo 2020. He says due to budgetary constraints, the Royal Bahamas Police Force Band and the Bahamas All-Star Band also went free of charge. However, the government did pay for their travel and accommodations. The government of Bahamas did not pay for Shabak to participate in the National uh, Day. Questions about how performers were selected have also emerged with some suggesting favoritism. Many Bahamians frowned at the decision of organizers to send the gospel choir headed by Watson and some questioned why the National Youth Choir was not selected to represent the Bahamas. Ramming said it came down to cost. There were some budgetary restraints uh, that uh, formed the basis of who was represented, uh, who made up the group that represented the Bahamas. Keep in mind, um, the persons who make up the the group in their own right or have been ambassadors for the Bahamas for years. News that a delegation of more than 100 traveled to Dubai for the event while the Bahamas continues to suffer from an economic and financial crisis brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic provoked widespread criticism. Ramin confirmed last week that $1 million was budgeted for the trip. That's down from the $1.7 million he said was budgeted by the f and administration. Meantime, he also addressed claims that Bahamians had been stranded in Dubai, describing it as an element of fake news. He noted that multiple flights were canceled due to the launch of 5G systems in the United States. The, the flight arrangement from Dubai to Orlando was impacted. The government of the Bahamas uh, rerouted, which it was a significant amount of individuals, rerouted them and had made some adjustment to their travels. What I can say is the group uh, landed in New York last night. Uh, they um, take off from New York to Miami today, when they, where they will return to Nassau tonight. He said one member of the group tested positive for COVID-19, and the government continues to support that individual. Uh, they, through their travel arrangements, have insurance. They continue to receive a per diem from the government of the Bahamas. Their accommodations are set. They also get testing every 48 hours, and once that person uh, tests negative, uh, they will be sent uh, back to the Bahamas. Reporting for Guardian News Network, I'm Jasmine Brown.